What is up my Deagles, it's Deagle Eyes here. In this video, I'm going to be showcasing the Director Mode, which is a new mode that they did add into Grand Theft Auto. And uh, so you can access Director Mode straight from Grand Theft Auto on the Story Mode itself if you press the Options button, which is what can also be known as the Start button. And you actually go over to the uh, PlayStation Store. And right next to the PlayStation Store, you will be able to see an option where it says, Rockstar Editor and so once you do access Rockstar Editor you can just uh, straightly access uh, director mode from there or you could use the d-pad itself on the uh, buttons itself and access uh, director mode from there itself so this is really awesome of a new mode that they did and into Grand Theft Auto and so I am using Taser right now and this is a different character you've seen right now it's not just some ordinary character from GTA Online that you can be it is a character from a story mode or GTA Online or you can say it like that and it's basically a pedestrian so I am a pedestrian right now and I am just smashing these guys like on director mode right now so I'm really having fun right now and uh, hopefully you guys do get access to director mode if you are on next gen console then you will be able to access director mode and the rocks that editor of course so uh, let's get right into this now so I'm going to be changing the weapons right here and as you can see I do have unlimited ammo itself because I have changed the settings of course so you like the options are pretty much endless on this uh, mode itself I think it's a better mode than um, GTA 5 online and GTA story mode because you can pretty much do anything on here so it's just really exciting in my opinion but uh, yeah that is my opinion of course and uh, so as you can see right now I am using the rail gun which is basically like a laser gun but it shoots like explosives and uh, it's like an instant explosion if it goes on a um, human or a uh, vehicle of itself so um, I'm gonna go on to uh, the uh, garage now and show you guys that you can spawn in any vehicle that you want so you don't have to go to the garage back and forth and then come out and then go back in the garage itself so it's like pretty easy access to uh, your vehicles that you do want to get from your garage itself and uh, once you do go on to the interaction menu and you select the vehicle that you do want and uh, that you desire of course you can just spawn in like that and it'll come right next to you and uh, you can just uh, drive away I guess so these options are pretty much endless and then you also got the locations here where you can go to any location you want just simply hit the X or the A button depending if you're on Xbox or PlayStation that would be the X of course and so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and switch the characters a bit now so the hairdress as well you can see in all sorts of the characters we're gonna go into the casting trailer the casting trailer basically allows you to be uh, any character that you do want from a GTA 5 whether that be online itself or the story mode so the options are endless as you can see you can be any character that you do want um, whether that be male or female or you can even be an animal so that's really awesome but you do have to uh, keep in mind that to become an animal that you do need to actually collect all the PO plants in story mode itself and uh, ho hopefully I will be like releasing a video on that shortly where you will be able to find all the PO locations on Grand Theft Auto uh, on the story mode itself alright I think I'm gonna go with a space alien on this one because I think that's uh, like the best looking one here alright we're gonna go as a space alien and we're gonna go ahead and smash some players on director mode right now so I actually love this costume I wish that you could actually get it online for your character that would be pretty cool actually just going around with the alien costume of course so uh, here are the settings itself on the interaction menu of director mode and you can change the time of day to whatever your preference is I like sunset personally so like I'm just gonna leave it as that and uh, you can also have the wanted status so that's really important because I know most of you guys won't like cops around so I'm just gonna disable that because I don't like cops in my opinion either so disable the cops as well and then we also have all these other options here where you can um, restrict uh, other items as well whether that be invincibility if you want to turn that off or on explosive melee where you want to have a super punch or not and also low gravity as well 
Alright, so we also got sort of a jump enable as well, so it's going to be really cool now. And uh, you can also just smash these vehicles like I did right there. And as you can see right now, you might be wondering why I am just flying really slow when I do actually blow up and then my character starts flying into the air. That is because I've turned on low gravity, but I think I might turn that off in a minute because low gravity can be annoying at times, but then again, it is alright, so... Yeah, there we go, and it just looks really awesome right now, as you can see, where you just go building by building as an alien, so that's just awesome in my opinion, and uh, yeah, so we are going to go on the road now, and uh, this actor cannot enter any vehicles, as it is an alien of course, but if you do become another character, then you will be able to access the vehicles. So, you know, that is pretty realistic how they made it like that. But there we go. We're going to turn off low gravity right now because I think this is really getting on my nerves now. So, there we go. We turned off low gravity and we should be good to go. And then that was a little low jump right there. And uh, the longer you hold the jump button for, the longer you will jump if you do have that sheet enabled for longer jump itself. And uh, so, there we go. Let's crush this guy. Yeah, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. I love explosions on this game. Alright, so that is director mode for you guys. I haven't showed you guys everything on director mode because the options are endless, like I said once again. I'm not sure how many times I have said endless because it is pretty much endless that you can do anything on director mode and this is awesome. Like, I do highly recommend that you do actually access director mode if you do get the chance and the time of course to be able to actually access director mode itself and oh there you go also be sure to leave a like on the video guys as it does show your support towards my videos and my upcoming videos and uh, yeah hopefully you guys did enjoy and also do subscribe if you're new around here as i will be uploading daily gta 5 content if not daily then i will probably upload the day after all right guys i think i'm just going to end the video here now because everything is getting really messed up oh wow now i'm burning really hopefully uh there we go yeah i got invincibility on so nothing matters right there anyways i hope you guys did enjoy the video as always stay awesome my deagles and i'll catch you guys in the next video peace